Many economists believe that global economic imbalances played a role in the crisis we've just been through. But what are they? And how can we stop them from becoming a problem again? There are high savings in some parts of the world and low savings in other parts of the world. And as a result of that, you have current account deficits in some parts of the world and current account surpluses, large surpluses elsewhere. Now the high savings and low savings, or the current account deficits and surpluses, are not a concern per se. They become a concern when they are rooted in distortions. The, uh, the global economy has kind of built up uh, massive imbalances. And by imbalances, uh, uh, people, economists mean the fact that there were very large current account deficits uh, between uh, different zones or, or countries, especially the U.S. had a very large uh, current account deficit. Some countries in the EU, such as Germany, had very large current account surpluses. And of course, in, uh, the, in Asia, in many uh, emerging market economies, you had very large current account surpluses as well. So those global imbalances that have built up over five, six years, have already, at, one of the, uh, at the origin of the crisis, one of the causes of the crisis. There is broad agreement that these global economic imbalances need to be fixed. The question is how? You would basically have a lower current account uh, deficit in the United States, and you would have lower surpluses in emerging Asia. Um, how would you bring this about? Increases in private savings rates in the United States, these have already happened to a very large extent. The price, of course, has been a deep recession. Um, fiscal consolidation, not now, but once the recovery has gained traction in the United States. Uh, and then, very importantly, financial sector reform. In emerging Asia, you would need lower uh, private savings. And for that, you know, in some countries, you need more generous social support systems. And finally, uh, as part of the equation, there would also have to be somewhat less reserved accumulation in some of uh, the emerging Asian countries. The key is to change people's behavior by changing the way the economy works. Why is it that people in Germany are indeed consuming uh, a bit less or saving more than people here? That's not really because the government told them to do so. I mean, in China, you have such a very high level of savings. Well, partly because it's an aging population uh, that needs to, in fact, put a lot of money aside for the, pen for, for the retirement. And that's a very uh, uh, rational behavior. Uh, this is how do you change the incentives uh, of people, uh, and especially when those incentives are very sensible. It's clear that fixing these global economic imbalances will not be easy. But if we want stronger sustained growth, they will need to be tackled. That's why the group of 20 industrialized and emerging market economies have launched a new process of mutual consultation to improve global economic cooperation. Canada and Korea are both members of the G20. Well, this is, this is a, a major test of the G20, our, our ability to first admit that this is an issue, recognize that this is an issue, and I, and I would say that the, uh, the framework process, the map process that the fund is leading uh, is absolutely essential to that. I would say that all of these reforms in and of themselves are in countries' interests. They're difficult reforms, but they're in countries' interests. And by using the G20 process with the help of the IMF, we can help to move most of these forward at the same time, which is in everybody's interest. So until now, uh, I think it's, uh, it goes well, but, uh, m but my worry is that uh, what is, uh, if we uh, do um, expect too much things at once, then uh, it's, it will create another global imbalance. So uh, we need uh, some patience. In a global world, there's no reason for current accounts to be balanced. It's a good thing for savings to go where they're most needed. But as we've heard, imbalances can be a symptom of underlying distortions. In the wake of the crisis, countries have decided to work together to remove such distortions. If they succeed, the result will be higher sustained growth for all.